Entrepreneur on Fire, episode 155. Welcome to EntrepreneurOnFire.com, where remarkable entrepreneurs share their inspiring story. Let their journey illuminate your path to success. And now, your host, John Dumas. Fire Nation, you love great audio content, and because of this, Audible is offering Entrepreneur on Fire listeners a free audiobook and 30-day membership. I recommend The Icarus Deception by Seth Godin. He narrates the entire book himself, and it is incredible. Jump on this limited-time offer at eofirebook.com. That's eofirebook.com. Okay, let's get started. I am simply thrilled to introduce my guest today, Noah Shannock. Noah, are you prepared to ignite? Yes, I am. (laughs) All right. Noah is the founder and CEO of Stitcher Radio. He is furthering the movement to bring personalized, on-demand, quality, and always current audio content to listeners everywhere. He was the founding VP of sales for StubHub, an online ticket marketplace that was sold to eBay in January of 2007. Given Fire Nation a little overview, Noah, but why don't you take it from here? Tell us a little bit about yourself. We want to get to know you personally and then share with us your business. Thanks, John. Thanks very much for having me on the show. My pleasure. I think that background spot on. I uh, grew up in New York, uh, worked in finance for a while, um, and uh, o- always wanted to um, s- start businesses. That's um, I, I, it, it runs in the family, and um, it's it, I, I find it very inspiring. I moved out to uh, I moved out to San Francisco and um, got involved with um, St- StubHub very early on. Um, and uh, really enjoyed the the experience of of helping to build that business, um, and then started getting really interested in um, in the audio space, and uh, started Stitcher in um, in two thousand and seven, uh, and um, it's it's going great. Um, we're primarily known as a mobile app. Um, we've got uh, not nine million downloads. Um, the the company's called Stitcher because you can basically um, we have twelve. Let's see. 14,000 shows now on demand and and listeners can stitch those shows into their own um, favorites playlists and um, also we help listeners to discover new content uh, that they like um, and uh, yeah we're 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 still a uh, relatively small startup we're based in San Francisco and um, and things are going really well well, I obviously love what you do because Entrepreneur on Fire is my sole passion. It's where I pour 100% of my energy and drive into. And it's currently a top 20 business podcast on Stitcher Radio, which I just love seeing how it's growing and more people are finding it organically because of just the great statistics that you guys keep and the ranking system that you have. So let me just start off by saying thank you for doing that, Noah. And I really look forward to delving more into Stitcher Radio later on in the program. But before we do, we start every Entrepreneur on Fire podcast out with a success quote. It gets the motivational ball rolling and it gets Fire Nation listeners pumped up for the content that you're going to be sharing with us, Noah. So take it away. Awesome. Um, I never get asked that question. So, so I, I, I love being asked that question. Um, I guess my favorite quote is, go confidently in the direction of your dreams. Leave, live the life that you've imagined. Um, and I live that every day. That's wonderful. I love how you live that every day, but take it down to the ground level. How do you actually apply this to your everyday life, your business, your mentality? I mean, it's kind of corny, but I do think about that quote um, every morning when I get up, um, and I think about um, I think about uh, our our, um, our business and what we're doing and the value that it's creating for um, listeners and um, and uh, and also for um, for content partners uh, and and for advertisers. Um, I think about how. Um, I, I think about m- my job um, and uh, and how uh, it, it's important to continue to to get better um, at my craft and and what I'm doing um, and learn uh, fr- from from others, um, both folks on my team um, and 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 other people and. 
um, yeah, I pretty much start every day like that. And, and um, that, that helps me get off and running. It's a great mentality, Noah. And as a content partner, I can just say that I get emails every single day from people literally around the world because Entrepreneur on Fire is streamed and downloaded in over 100 countries, over 150,000 unique times per month. And these people reach out to me and just say, thank you for this content. And I wouldn't be able to do this without a venue, without a directory, without Stitcher Radio, without people like yourself that are out there providing this playing field that we can really share what we create. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you on behalf of Entrepreneur on Fire, on behalf of Fire Nation. It's just great that there are people out there like you with this vision, and it's really impacting a lot of people. Thank you, John. We, we would not be able to do what we do if it was not for um, the, the fantastic content um, and the, the passionate creative people behind creating those, the, the, that content. And that's basically um, what, 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 what drives us. Wonderful. So, Noah, let's transition to the next topic of this interview, and that's failure. Those are challenges and obstacles that as entrepreneurs, we face throughout our journey. And Entrepreneur on Fire is all about the journey, and you're our spotlighted guest, Noah. You're our spotlighted entrepreneur. We want to hear about your journey. So take us back to a time when you failed or when you've just come up against an obstacle that you had to dig deep to overcome, and then tell Fire Nation how you overcame this obstacle. Well, I, I think that um, starting a company is, is basically, I mean, every day there, there are challenges and obstacles and yeah. some, of them you, you, some of them you overcome and some of them, you, you, you know, you have to find a way around. Um, I mean, there, 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 there have been so many um, and, and f- failures are also um, just, just learning experiences. So I guess our, our first big failure was um, we... Uh, we, when we, the, the vision for the company, um, ha- hasn't changed, but we, when we started the, the company and I started, um, it with a, a technical co-founder, Peter DeVrody, uh, and he and I had, um, the, the inspiration w- w- was, was pretty similar for both, both of us, which was that we liked podcasts, um, but that it was difficult. They were difficult to, to um, listen to because you have to download and sync, and um, it was difficult to find other content. So we, it, this was before the iPhone. Um, and so we decided that the best thing we could do was to build a plug-in for iTunes um, to, to help make the process of f- finding um, and, and putting together a, p- a playlist e- easier. And so we, um, we <laughs> so and then and then we figured we would um, that that of course that downloadable plugin uh, would become super popular. Um, and then our, our plan was to to build a, a streaming product for the BlackBerry. Um, and because our downloadable product was going to be so popular, um, na- naturally. Uh, lots of people would download the streaming product, so right. um, we're, we're working around the clock. Um, you know, lo- lo- long hours, and you know, we hadn't raised v- very much money, so we didn't have much time. And um, and we put out this this um, plugin tool that we we thought was 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 awesome. It was like this fantastic power user tool, and it made downing downloading podcasts a lot easier and and and, and managing your experience easier. Um, and so we we put it out there. We're super excited, and like literally nobody downloaded it. <laughs> um, and so that you know, there and, and in, in hindsight, apparently it's really difficult to get uh, people to download um, something onto their um, computer, particularly something that they've they've never heard of, and that potentially um, me- messes with their iTunes. So um, that was uh, that that was probably the 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 first big challenge and and we overcame it by um do, you know c- coming up with the next iteration which um which was a, a a web version and the first web version also failed um so w- it was uh we <laughs> we we didn't start off strong we started off by failing um a couple of times and then we started to get the uh we 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 started to 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 get it right um as as things went on and a lot of that um, came down to ma- making sure that we were listening to to u- users and potential users, um, and um, and uh, get, getting their feedback and 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 sort of iterating accordingly. It's such a valuable story for Fire Nation listeners, Noah, because 
It took Einstein 10,000 times, 10,000 experiments before he actually created the light bulb. And he just failed so many times, but every single time he just continued to step one step higher above in his understanding and learning. And you went through similar iterations with Stitcher because you tried something, it failed, but then you made a pivot, you made that adjustment, you listened to feedback from the customers, from your target audience, and you continue to make adjustments until you found something that worked. And that's why it's so important for entrepreneurs to realize you need to get out there and you need to just launch your product, your service, your idea, and start getting that feedback because you need to start failing and failing fast because it's not until you fail you can truly grow as an entrepreneur in your understanding and in your knowledge. So that is just a great takeaway from that. And what would you say, Noah, was your top lesson learned from that whole experience? It would fall under um, what, what you just talked about in Einstein, which is, which is just like, just keep pushing. Just, just um, we, we, we um, were as confident about the vision um, a- after those fa- failures as, as we were before them. And, and so um, we, we just, you just got to keep trying and, and you, you, you take them as, 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 as lessons learned um, and a step closer to, to realizing, um, re- realizing the dream. And, and we still, I mean, we, fi- we still fail um, a- every day and, and every failure is a, is, is, is a lesson learned. Um, luckily, we're succeeding a lot more than we're failing these days. But um, if, if uh, I had a ski coach who used to say, if you're not crashing, then you're not trying hard enough. And- <laughs> Well, Noah, let's take a step forward together right now to the next topic, which is the other end of the spectrum. It's that aha moment. Just like in every entrepreneur's journey, we fail and fail often and hopefully fail forward. We also have these light bulbs that just go off and we're just like, aha, this is going to resonate so well with my target audience, with my customer, with my authentic self. Share with us a time when you had an aha moment and then share with us how you turned that moment into success. Well, I guess um, one aha moment, um, which takes the the the, f- the failure story a bit further, um, that that the the first couple of failures a bit further um, to 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 kind of the first um, the first success, and it was basically um, so so we we built a web product, and it was also like a power user product, and. Um, and uh, users would have to would go in and search for the shows they like, and they could create their 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 playlist. And it was super cool, and you could drag and drop, and you could create a playlist that was literally the um, the the uh, length of your commute. And um, and so again, we put this out in the in the wild, and 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 um, n- nobody used it. And so we started asking users, um, you know, why don't you know why won't they use it? We literally begged people to to try it, and they said because it's too hard, um, and people don't want to do work. And so then we started creating topics based playlists. We started building playlists for u- users, kind of pre built playlists for users, and all of a sudden, um, people started to use it. I love that aha moment, and it kind of makes me think of Pandora. Pandora is just so simple because you get to their website, and all you do is enter in any artist or any song that you like, and they do the rest. It takes away the barrier. It takes away the work, and it just does it for you. Is this something along the lines of what you're looking to create as you move forward with Stitcher Radio? Yeah, and we have. Um, Pandora was definitely one of the in- inspirations for, for, for me. I was an early adopter of it for, for starting Stitcher. I saw what a two-way internet connection, um, what you could, the, the power of that um, in, in a radio listening experience where everybody, um, you know, has their, their own things that they like and, and um, should be able to have their own personal station or playlist of, of just the shows that they like. And, and then it helps you to discover new ones. So, um, we, we, we have gone very much in that direction. We've got something, um, a disc, uh, we, we have a discovery, um, 
algorithm similar to Pandora's music genome. We're based on um, a, a show or based on what we know from about you um, and your, your listening behavior. We, um, we can either create a station based on a piece of content like Pandora does, um, and we just understand your listening behavior um, better. So we have uh, an area of the app called the Smart Station, and it's a station that's created for you and changes based on um, on your listening behavior, and I, I think we put out something like 10 million new recommendations a day for 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 folks at this point. Uh, so it's 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 really powerful. Wow, exciting stuff, Noah! Just make sure Entrepreneur on Fire is at the top of all of those recommendations. <laughs> it's, it's, it's getting there. The 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 the, the great content um, moves to the top, and uh, and and you, you guys um, are are steadily moving um, up the chain and you're, 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 you're uh, on top in, uh, in business. We're loving it and you're so right. Great content always rises just like the cream and that's why at Entrepreneur on Fire, that's our number one focus. That's our goal is to produce one incredible interview every single day. We really are looking to fill that niche, that void of those commuters that are driving to work looking for, for those people that are going for jogs or walking their dog. So again, it's just been a great journey, and it's places like iTunes, like Stitcher Radio that are allowing us to get our message out. So it's just phenomenal. And Noah, I want to change gears for one second here. Have you had an I've made it moment? That's a good question, John. I, I, um, I, I definitely think about, uh, I, guess, I guess, life, and not to get too philosophical, but life and um, love philosophy here. Business, business as well as, as kind of a journey. Um, not a destination. So, I, I, I guess I haven't. I mean, I've, I've had some, um, you know, some, some moments when um, really proud of, of what we've accomplished uh, a, a, as a team, um, and, uh, um, and, and I have, um, I've tried to make sure that, that I enjoy those moments and that we as a team um, enjoy those moments and are, are proud of um, what we've accomplished. But um, I guess like any entrepreneur, I'm, I, I, I maybe <laughs> I spend too much time looking at, up at, at what, what more um, of the mountain there is to climb than, than down at what we've already climbed. Correct. And I just cannot stress enough my belief that the phrase, it's about the journey, not about the destination, is so important to keep reminding yourself. Because I asked this question specifically, Noah, because I always get so many different answers. Some entrepreneurs say, John, I will never have an aha moment because that will denote the end of my journey and I'll never be at the end. Others say, John, I have one every single day. And for me, it's more about the journey itself and the fact that you're setting milestones and goals. And once you do attain those milestones and goals, you're stepping back for a second, you're appreciating what you've done, your accomplishments are worthy, enjoying that because again, this is the journey. And it just sounds like you're on a great one. You have the correct philosophy, Noah, so I definitely commend you for that. Thanks, John. I appreciate it. So Noah, let's move into your current business right now. Let's talk about present time Stitcher. What is one or two things that are just really exciting you about what you have going on right now? The two things that are probably most exciting right now, um, one is, uh, we talked about a little bit, is um, is what we're doing for both listeners and content partners in terms of discovery. Um, the, the dis- discovery we always believed was an important part um, of 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 what um, you know what we're de- delivering to users. Um, but we were also we, we thought maybe people would come in and just listen to the same shows that they like because unlike a piece of music, um, you can listen to the same show many times and um, you, you know and, and it's it's a it's, it's a different show. It's a new show. So. Um, what we found is that people are the better we make the discovery a- a- engine, um, and uh, we have we have a couple of different ways to to discover. One one is um, is the smart station that I mentioned. One is the Stitcher list that that you mentioned, um, where there uh, where we we have a constantly changing rank. Um, of of uh, of shows based on popularity, based on what's most shared, um, and then we also use um, we use uh, Facebook to to 
help listeners see what their 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 friends are listening to, and that's a that's another discovery tool. So, um, d- discovery is is one thing that we're super excited about, um, and and the other thing is. Uh, is the work that we've done with uh, auto manufacturers, um, and we're really starting to see that bear fruit. Yes. Um, yes. One, one of um, one of those. If I was to have an I've made it moment, it was probably um, you know one 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 big one was a, a couple of years ago. I I was at the keynote address uh, at the Consumer Electronics Show. Um, and uh, the, the keynote was Alan Mulally, Ford CEO, and he and his team, um, one of their big announcements was um, Stitcher and Pandora um, connected into the car. Um, and um, s- since that point, and that was the first announcement we've made, um, we have, um, we've brought on uh, GM, um, BMW, Mercedes, and um, and we're continuing to work with um, almost all of the auto manufacturers at this point um, on on some some type of an integration. Uh, and ra- it's 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 imperative for us because radio listening, fifty um, percent of it happens in the car, and we already know that a lot of our listening takes place in the car, and we want it to be um, as safe um, and as integrated an experience as possible. Absolutely. And I can verify that because all of my listeners email me on a daily, weekly, monthly level and just say, John, it's my commute to work. You know, it's that painful drive in the morning or drive home or I'm going on that long ski trip on the weekends. Just knowing that I'm going to be able to access great content by Entrepreneur on Fire, by all these other great podcasts that are out there like The Moth, like APM Marketplace, what have you. And that is exactly where they're consuming it. And again, when you're a podcaster and they're in the car, you have that captive audience because they're focused on the road. You're coming through their car speakers. You know, they're not at work with videos popping up and all these different distractions going on. So it's a great opportunity for you to really have that audience that's engaged. And that's one of the key words. And it's really exciting for me to hear about these strides that you've made with these different car dealerships. Can you just talk about that for a couple more seconds, Noah, and exactly what you're foreseeing that's going to look like? Auto manufacturers have have come to realize um, that uh, safe internet connectivity in in, in the car is is really important. Um, There there are already, um, through the smartphone, there there are, in the the U.S. alone, there's already 100 million internet connections um, in in the car. Um, through 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 a, a, a smartphone in a driver's pocket, um, and so utilizing either that connection or connection directly into the car to give um, the to, to to give a radio experience that's as easy to use as as terrestrial radio is in in the car, but has all of the benefits of the two way internet connection. Um, so being able to listen to exactly what shows you want uh, on demand, um, and, um, and and you know pretty much you know what what whatever it is that that, that you want to hear, uh, and and that's going to take um, a, a while. I would say we're in probably the the second inning of it. Um, but uh, we're working hand in hand um, with, with auto manufacturers to make it happen, um, and and it's an inevitability. Um, so, so much time is spent. The the average commute uh, in the United States is is is, is close to an hour, um, and uh, people are spending a huge amount of time in their cars, and they want to be entertained. Um, most of the time, they're sitting in traffic. Um, and so making that happen uh, in a way that um, that's that's safe and easy uh, is 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 crucial and and uh, that's where we're headed with it. Well, Noah, thank you for carrying this torch and I really look forward to tracking this progress because it is truly exciting. And we're gonna use this to transition now to the last segment of our show, which is the lightning round. And this is where I get to ask you a series of questions, Noah, and you come back at us. Fire Nation with amazing and mind-blowing answers. Does that sound like a plan? That sounds like a plan. <laughs> All right. What was holding you back from becoming an entrepreneur? When I graduated from college, I, I had an idea um, and and was going to start a business then. And as I dug in more, I felt like the business was was pretty complex and I didn't have enough tools um, to be able to do it. Um, and so I decided to to get, get some background in finance um, and then join a small team and, and le- learn learn what I could. 
Um, and then uh, I, I learned more tools. I went to business school and I, I worked at a consulting firm and eventually had so many tools that you can become paralyzed with those tools. Yeah. Um, and and uh, it, it took me a while to realize that it really just comes down to something that resonates w- within you. Um, and if it resonates within you um, and you think it's cool and, and fun and, and better, uh, you know, and a better mousetrap, um, it'll work. So um, that, that, you know, th- those were the things that were holding me back. Um, and uh, I'm, 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 I'm glad I, I leapt into the abyss and I, I strongly encourage uh, everyone to do so. Absolutely. That's what Entrepreneur on Fire is about is encouraging that entrepreneurial leap. And I love that word that you used, into the abyss. So Noah, what's the best business advice you've ever received? I think I was listening to um, a panel of, and it, w- it was some uh, v- very successful CEO turned venture capitalist. Um, and I think he said something like, um, he, he said something like if um, it was something to the, the, the effect of if you, um, if you don't do something that's unethical or, or stupid, um, that, just starting a company, whether it's a failure or success, um, is 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 just a learning, and and only um, Im, improves you um, at, at, as an entrepreneur. And um, I think I think about that, and uh, I think about that uh, a, a, a fair amount. I mean, we we've 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 come a long way, um, but to people who are starting out, nobody says nobody ever says that they um, regret having tried to start a a company. Um, and so hearing that in as many different ways as possible, um, the just go for it, uh, attitude. Um, I, I think the, those pieces of advice that just go for it pieces of advice that I've heard in, in kind of various contexts uh, are the best advice I've heard. If you could recommend one book for fire nation, what would it be? I read a lot, and I don't read a lot of business books. Um, I've been reading quite a, a few um, biographies about great, great leaders, and um, I uh, recently read um, T- Team of Rivals, which I, I, th- I think the Lincoln uh, movie was was based on, uh, and I thought that that was a great book about um, leadership and, um, and uh, one of the best books I've ever read, so I, I highly recommend it. Great. Well, I will link that up in the show notes. And as a recommendation to you, Noah, just having learned that about you, I just had Robert Greene on the show who's written the books, The 48 Laws of Power, as well as Mastery. And both of those books are incredible for anybody who loves biographies, who loves history, because he really takes a unique look at so many incredible historical figures and gives you a unique perspective of that. So, that should definitely be on your to-read list. I will, I will add it to my Goodreads and my Kindle Q. Quick note, Fire Nation, you can get the audio version of this book for free by going to eofirebook.com, a gift from Audible for Entrepreneur on Fire listeners. That's eofirebook.com. So Noah, this is the last question. It's my favorite, but it's kind of tricky. So take your time, digest it, then come back at us with an answer. Imagine you woke up tomorrow morning in a brand new world, identical to Earth, but you knew no one. You still have all the experience and knowledge you currently have, your food and shelter is taken care of, but all you have is a laptop and $500. What would you do in the next seven days? The first thing I would do is get off the internet and go meet some people. Yeah. Um, And I would, um, yeah, I would would spend... T- time um, m- meeting people and um, trying to understand the the the, the new world um, and, um, and ma- you know ma- making f- friends cultivating relationships. Um, I, I will I would probably use the internet to help um, gather information and and na- navigate the new world. Um, but but I think that uh, human contact. Um, if if you land in a world and you, you don't um, and you're absent human contact. Um, that that's the most important. Um, that's the more, most important. That's the, the sort of fundamental thing to, to cultivate, uh, assuming that you have like food and shelter. Great insights, Noah. You've given us some awesome actionable advice this entire interview, and we are all better for it. Give Fire Nation one parting piece of guidance, then tell us how we connect with you and your company, and then we'll say goodbye. 
my parting piece of guidance is go for it. My, uh, yeah, just go, just go for it. Don't overthink it. Do something you love, but, uh, but go for it. Don't have what ifs at the, at the end of your life. I can be reached at, uh, Noah at stitcher.com. Um, and my, uh, Twitter handle, uh, although I'm not a, a, a particularly active, a Twitter user is Noah's arc. And, um, yeah. Th- thank you very much for having me on the show, John. It's it's an, an inspiration, and um, we uh, we look forward to continuing um, to uh, to to build the internet radio together. Absolutely, Noah, and thank you for being so generous with your time, your expertise, and your experience. Fire Nation, we salute you, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Fire Nation, what great idea do you have brewing inside you? Enough brewing. Take powerful action today. Go grab your domain and get your website up. I've created a simple seven-minute tutorial that will walk you through acquiring your domain for free all the way to your first post. Go to eofirewebsite.com to access this great tutorial, your free domain, and much more. That's eofirewebsite.com. Thank you for joining us at EntrepreneurOnFire.com, your daily dose of inspiration. Prepare to ignite.